Okay, so the thing I want to do in this video is just examine the UDP and TCP headers and describe, you know, why they're different and what the differences are, right? Okay, so UDP, user datagram protocol, is dead simple. It is really, really small. You basically get nothing from it, okay? So it is four values. And the first one is the source port. Second one is the destination port. Third one is the length. And that's the length of the payload, which would be in our case, the DNS query. And then finally, a checksum. And a checksum is a value that's computed over the you know, entirety of these four values plus the payload data to ensure that the data that was sent was the data that was received. But, you know, crucially, the UDP protocol does not require that this checksum field be filled in. It does specify a algorithm to use um, to compute that field, but it is allowed to be just zero, all zeros. <clears throat> and, you know, when it's all zeros, you're allowed to assume that the user didn't supply you a checksum, which means you can't know for sure if the data here is the data that you received by the time you get that UDP packet. Okay, so UDP, super simple. You know, all it allows you to do is know where the source and destination ports are, the length of the payload so that you can know how much to read, and it might or might not provide you with the ability to check your data, to check that the data you sent or the data that you received was the data that the person sending you data actually sent. Okay, TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, on the other hand, has many more fields, you know, and some of the options are optional, so we're not going to dive into all of them, but the mandatory fields are, first, you got the source port, just like UDP. I'll cut this in half. You've got the destination port, just like in UDP. Then you've got a sequence number. And in the next video, we'll look a little more at sequence number and why it matters, followed by an acknowledgement number. And same, in the next video, we'll look more at sequence and acknowledgement numbers. Then you've got a field called the data offset data offset. Then you've got three reserved bits, which are always zeros. Then you've got a series of flags, and these are single bit values that have contextual meaning, depending on which ones are set and when they're set. Okay, then you've got a window size, which has to do with TCP's congestion control mechanisms. This allows you to send data faster or slower depending on certain parameters of the connection. Then you've got a checksum. Okay, and then you've got something called an urgent pointer. And then you've got, you know, after that from here and potentially further down here, optional fields. Then finally followed by the payload data, which in our case was going to be the HTTP payload. Okay, so I hope you can see that, you know, just by looking at the actual values supplied in the headers, UDP is, is obviously a much simpler protocol and it doesn't provide you with any kinds of guarantees or any kinds of real services. All you're able to do with UDP is say, hey, this is the port that I'm sending from, this is the destination port that I expect the computer to be listening on, the server to be listening on. This is the size of my DNS payload, and you know, maybe or maybe not, I supplied a checksum. 
Whereas in TCP, you know, sequence and acknowledgement numbers are going to be used to provide reliable transit, that is, guarantees that if I send some data using TCP, the data that I send is going to get there, or it's going to be retried until it gets there. And sequence and acknowledgement numbers are important for that process, as well as a checksum which is required to be filled out to ensure that the data hasn't been corrupted in transit, as well as, you know, a bunch of options and congestion control mechanisms and some flags that mean special things. So UDP and TCP are very different protocols. These are the two most popular transport layer protocols that use the IP stack. And, you know, because TCP provides a lot of services and UDP doesn't provide a lot of services, the TCP header has to be a lot bigger and a lot more complex.